Hey guys, it's Laura here. Um, I just realized in that last video I posted about all of the fonts that I told you I was going to find the um, tutorial on how to use MF I Love Glitter Flaunt or at least the piece of the video that it's in and I couldn't find it so we're just gonna make a whole new video so um, this fonts really fun you can definitely find this still on defont.com and you can get the purchasing license there as well um, and the reason why you want to do that is because if you're going to make a sign or a shirt using this font and you want to sell it um, you're going to want to have the license to do so so um, let's just jump right in here I went ahead and made um, like a little bit of a, a key so that you guys could see um, what on your keyboard makes the font do certain things. So let me just go ahead and fill these in real quick and then I'm going to take you through and show you um, what this looks like. So move that to the side. So here are the keys on your keyboard and what they do. So the bracket makes this curve and the reverse bracket the other direction. Your um, vertical line makes the filled in heart and your underscore makes the open heart and your asterisk makes a solid heart. So let's say I wanted to um, write my name and um, my husband. Okay, so let's say I wanted to have this line at the beginning. I would do a bracket, whoops, shift key gives you this one so you do not want to hold shift down that's my mistake so that and then let's say I wanted to have the solid heart here then I'm going to um, hold the backslash but I'm going to do shift and then that gives me the vertical bar and I'm going to delete the space here and then I'm going to finish with another bracket Okay, now when I click on this, if I go over to my font column and I choose MF I Love Glitter, then there we go. I'll zoom in so you guys can see this. You have your little um, swoopy line. I'm sure there's a technical term for that. And then if I would fill this in, um, you guys can kind of see what that heart looks like a little bit better. There you go. I'll zoom back out. There you go. So obviously with this font, you want to right click and you want to ungroup it and you want to right click again and you want to weld. Um, that's going to omit all of the little cuts and overlaps. So there you go. And then um, as for like just the heart, if you wanted to um, just add the heart like at the end of someone's name uh, or um, just use the heart, you could just, you know, hit the asterisk key. Um, in this case, let's do like a word and just select it and go to MF I Love Glitter and there you go. Um, if you wanted to move the hearts, I'll zoom in so you guys can see this a little bit better. There, That's a great example as to why we need to ungroup and weld this anyway. So I'm going to ungroup and I'm going to um, just select the word puppy. I'm going to right click and I'm going to weld and then you see my lines go away so that's cool and the reason why I did that is because I want to move these hearts and I want to tie them into the word and I actually want to even rotate them a little bit so there we go and I'm just gonna grab this little green dial and rotate and then I'm gonna select everything right click whoa don't delete it right click and weld it again and there I just kind of gave my font a, a different look I'll fill it in so you guys can see I think that kind of makes a difference there you go and then let me do one with the unfilled heart just so you can see let's do that's the underscore button so if you're up by your key panel you want to um, choose the dash you want to use shift key to get that there you go. And choose your font. And then again, I'm going to right click. I'm going to ungroup. And I'm going to weld. And in this one, I have an I. So I want to make sure that stays with my word. So I'm just going to right click. And again, I'm going to make it a compound path so that the I stays connected 
to what I'm doing. And I'll fill this in again so you guys can see. Just a difference between the two hearts. So there you go. Just a quick tutorial on how to use MF I Love Glitter. Um, this is really kind of the money maker in it all. If you want, you can take a screenshot of this. Um, that way you can remember that the bracket gives you the swoop and the um, bar gives you the filled in heart and the underscore gives you the open heart and the asterisk gives you the just plain heart. Again, you can get this font on defont.com and um, there's actually even a link on the website there, I do believe, um, to give you like an extra tutorial if this wasn't thorough enough for you. But as always, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Hope you guys found this helpful and comment below if there are any other fonts that you guys have in your um, repertoire that you love that you want to share with me.